The solar eclipse amazed millions across North America today, but rainy weather here in Thunder Bay clouded the experience for local viewers. That still didn't stop residents across the city from trying to catch a glimpse of the rare event. Nev Ben Pelt reports. Visitors at Fort William Historical Park were a little disappointed as rainy weather dampened their chances at seeing the much-anticipated solar eclipse in person. And even though they had to put the telescopes away, people were treated to a live video feed of the full eclipse in the David Thompson Astronomical Observatory. Outdoor education specialist Jonathan Reed notes the area was forecasted to have around 75% coverage for the solar eclipse, less than ideal for the celestial phenomenon. The moon is uh, moving across the face of the sun from our perspective, right? And as it crosses the sun, uh, it'll be a very noticeable crescent sun, and it will get a little bit darker, uh, not as dark as it will in areas of totality, uh, but you will get a bit of darkness. Uh, and even through the, if the clouds lighten up a little bit, you even see the effects through the clouds. Guests still made the most of the celebration, which also featured a number of activities, giving them a chance to learn more about the eclipse and space. We asked some attendees what their favorite part of the event was. My favorite has probably been all of it. I can't choose, choose one. Probably about how they're able to almost replicate what stuff from the moon would look like. Like over at that glass table, that was probably one of my favorites. Oh, just looking around. My favorite thing I've learned today is about the black hole. I liked about the Mars, how fast the Mar Mars year was. I liked that. That was kind of cool. Many people from the community also made their way down to Hillcrest Park with the hopes of seeing the eclipse. With rain in the forecast all afternoon, people didn't have their hopes high to see anything crazy but still wanted to make their way over to the north side of the city to be part of the special day. I kind of expected it actually, to be honest with you, because I've been following the weather. And um, yeah, it's, I wish it would get dark. It's kind of nothing really significant <laughs> happening yet. But uh, yeah, so this is, uh, it's cool uh, that uh, just to be part of this right now, a living history. Not much to say. No, no. I knew I wasn't going to see an eclipse, but I thought it I had to take the dog for a walk anyway, and I thought I'll come see what an eclipse looks like in the rain, and now I know. Monday's eclipse was particularly important because it's the last total solar eclipse to be seen anywhere in North America for decades. With that being said, there will still be some partial ones to look forward to. Well, we have to wait till 2026 to see another little bit of a partial one, so maybe we'll get a chance then to make up for this one. It's super disappointing. We were kind of excited to see this. This is going to be one of the best ones visible for Thunder Bay in about 40 years. So, Unfortunately, we didn't need these glasses here in Thunder Bay today. We weren't able to see the eclipse. Many people did come out hopeful to see it, but unfortunately, the rain and clouds took over. Nev Van Pelt, TBT News.